best weapon in The Walking Dead is? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to rank every weapon in The Walking Dead from the best to worst and the ones that you shouldn't use, the good, the bad, and the funny that make you do stuff like this. My name is Smiley Monster, and I make Web3 gaming content focused on the Gala Games ecosystem. And today, we're ranking every single weapon in The Walking Dead. So let's get to it. So before we start, you know what to do. Scroll down, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's get to it. So the first weapon you get, well, the first two weapons you get in The Walking Dead is the club and the crude bow. Now, the club is good because it's the only weapon you can craft to start attacking walkers, but it is not that good of a weapon at the start. So it goes to C tier. It is the default one that you're going to be using. You don't want to be using the crude bow because it costs ammo to use and ammo to craft at the start is not going to benefit you because you don't have a lot of resources. The thing that makes the crude bow awesome though and that you should carry one at all times is its ability which is called flare. What flare does is it attracts walkers to that designated location for a good 10 seconds and this can save your ass or this can make it easy to farm. So this goes straight into A tier and the club is C tier. Next up you unlock the basic staff. Now this is where you start getting a little bit of damage on your melee weapons. It is better than the club but it doesn't have a lot of functions. It does have an AOE skill that slows people down, but the cleave isn't that well, so it goes to B tier. Next up, we have the revolver. Now, you don't want to be using guns at the start, so I'm going to put this in C tier because the cost to maintain a gun, to craft it, and to use it is not worth it. You're better off just making a basic staff for the time being and the row revolver doesn't give you as much damage needed to make it usable or viable in the early levels next up we have the baseball bat which goes in the same category as the basic staff because it gives you extra damage it has a bit of cleave when you use its skill but it's nothing special and you should just stick to the basic staff until you unlock another tier weapon now you have an upgraded bow but you don't actually need to use it the only reason you keep the bow uh, a crude bow in fact is just for the skill you don't actually need to use the bow because it costs arrows and it's not worth it the only reason you would swap out a crude bow for an upgraded bow is because you want the extra durability that comes with getting higher tier pieces of equipment but i don't recommend you do that i recommend you just keep the crude bow because it's so easy to craft it's so cheap and it's so versatile i wouldn't waste resources on crafting a bow i would use those resources on something else next up we have the hatchet now the hatchet is in b tier the reason it is in b tier is because it's better than the club but it doesn't do anything that other weapons don't do it's a single target weapon it has a decent skill to start off with but nothing special next is the basic crossbow now this was a decent weapon before the crit change when it had crit chance you're basically one shotting every single mob with this weapon if you went the crit talent build but now the crit rates have been adjusted and you don't want to use this weapon it's so bad you're getting an idea of the theme here you don't want to be using bows or crossbows but the other ones are still viable Next up, we have the basic pistol. The basic pistol goes to B tier. It is better than revolver. You can start using it if you want to start killing elites, but I still wouldn't recommend it. Main reason being the ammo and the gunpowder and chemical cost to maintain it is really hard at those lower levels. I would stick to basically a basic staff or a hatchet until you unlock one of the weapons that we're going to talk about next up we have the basic shotgun now this weapon's really really good it's good for clearing hordes it's good for clearing a large group of mobs it has a decent skill the q skill at the start which allows you to do good damage to aoe groups of mobs but as i said maintaining it at those levels is not going to be that beneficial but the damage is worth it Next up, we have the bow staff. Now, the bow staff goes below the basic staff. The main reason being is when you unlock this weapon, there are better types of weapons to use rather than crafting the bow staff. So at the basic staff, it is the best when you unlock it. But the bow staff, there are competing weapons. It does everything that a basic staff does, but it just doesn't compete with the weapon we're going to be talking about in just a sec. Now the recurve bow, as I said before, you don't use it. The only reason you craft it is to get extra durability to use the flare. And if you do that, you can swap it out for A tier, but you don't want to be using it. 
Next up, the basic rifle. Now, the basic rifle is also B tier. This is one of the best weapons currently with the changes to crit chance to use to solo elite walkers. The reason for this is you're firing three bursts every couple of seconds and that each burst can trigger a crit hit and you're basically farming crit hits with the additional rate of fire. Before the snipers were the best weapon, but now it's going to be the assault rifle. Now we have the best weapon to use from tier 5 and that is the machete. The machete is A tier. The reason it is A tier is because it has cleave, it has damage, it's fairly good to craft, it's easily accessible and this is when you're going to start chopping those heads. This is when you're going to start decapacitating all of those walkers and this is when your farming is going to level up to fold. This weapon is the best early game weapon to use and it is such a fun weapon to use. Next up we have Molotov Cocktails. Now Molotov Cocktails they could be B or C depending how you're using them. I think they'll go up to B tier once dungeons are in place but the cost to craft and the current utility there is not that much. You can do better things with for example the shotgun for hordes and if you want to do other aoe farming there are other weapons to use so right now it goes to c tier it's a niche use case i think it will be useful later on if you could use it to destroy like bases on bridges and other things like that but right now there's no point crafting it next up we have the recurve bow now as i said before the crit change it was good but now you don't need to use it next up we have the tactical axe now the tactical axe is decent single target damage but it doesn't outperform the machete so i'm gonna put it to do not use actually instead of c tier because the machete is basically better than any other melee weapon until you unlock the next one now we have the basic sniper rifle so the basic sniper rifle is a tier because it comes with a good ability that deals a bunch of damage and this weapon would have been s tier on the first couple of weeks of the game where you were using the sniper to get insane flat damage and then you had the crit chance was basically guaranteed every shot was a crit and you could farm elite walkers like crazy with this weapon but since the change it has gone down to a tier next up we have the hunter bow same reason you don't need it unless you're on the durability then it goes up to a tier reverse draw crossbow same reason you don't want to use it right now there are better alternatives for single target main thing being the assault rifle next we have the pump action shotgun now this is better than the basic shotgun because it comes with the additional skill which allows you to farm walkers more efficiently you basically want to use the qw and that will give you the additional penetration and damage needed for aoe what i like to do with the basic shotgun is basically press q or attack w or attack that gets a good burst rate of fire out on a group of walkers in a short amount of time and generally clears the whole wave now we have the sharp staff you do not want to use the sharp staff as i said before same as the tactical axe the machete outperforms the sharp staff and there is no reason to use a weapon other than the machete until you unlock the next weapon which is the sword now the sword goes up to s tier the reason the sword goes up to s tier because it comes with the mobility skill and this allows you to farm things easier allows you to move about easier it does cost you a lot of energy when you move it but once you unlock the sword you should have a decent food supply generating that energy back or you could just use the energy drinks that are dropped from the mobs that have the the burger and mailman and this weapon does insane damage as well as decent cleave and it's fairly easy to make next up we have the desert eagle now the desert eagle is a tier the reason for this is you get additional skill by this time you have ability to sustain handgun ammo you can start getting the chemicals in the gunpowders in now it's not as good as the basic assault rifle single target damage but if you use the skill to make things more vulnerable and then finish it off with a different weapon it is a decent gun to equip when you are out farming walkers now we have the m16 rifle and this baby is amazing it is s tier because it is the go-to weapon for single target damage once you unlock it this is what i use all the time to collect kill the elite walkers it shreds well walkers massives heavies it does really good single target damage if you've gone the crit build or the damage build it works with both builds and it's fairly easy it's a decent cost to make but it is sustainable next we have the metal bat now you don't need to use the weapon why because the sword's there why would you use a metal bat when you can use a sword i believe the resources crafted are roughly the same the sword has cleave 
and it has better skills than the metal bat so there's currently no use for it next up we have the combat shotgun now the combat shotgun goes to s tier as well the reason it goes to s tier is because this is the combo i use for the three weapons to farm on a efficient route this m16 rifle does the single type damage to all the elites the shotgun takes care of hordes and any group of enemies more than three or four and the sword is what you use when you are following a path and killing all the walkers along the way this way you're saving ammo for the elites you're dealing with the small walkers as well and you're farming the group of walkers next we have saber and the saber is also s tier because it is an upgraded sword if there was an s tier plus i guess you could put it in there but it is good utility for what it offers and it does insane damage even more than the sword with a good cleave next up we have the double x you don't want to use the double x the saber is available why would you use something inferior you might as well just use the saber now we have the hunting rifle now the hunting rifle is an upgraded version of the sniper rifle and it gives you an additional skill which can be useful to get increased crit chance now the crit chance has changed and i think it is a good weapon overall it is better than the basic so it goes up a tier i believe the final tier 9 weapon is the princess's lmg now if there is a s tier plus then this the saber and the princess's lmg will go above that because the princess's light machine gun is an upgraded version of the m16 the only downside to this is it costs quite a lot of materials to craft so for resource efficiency once you get good mastery once you get good walker combat mastery as well you might as well just continue to use the m16 but if you need the extra damage boost you want the extra durability and the chance to reroll an additional tribute on your weapon then the princess's lmg is what you need to use and this was the clip in the beginning where you saw chaos do that crazy bug where he's just launching a bunch of ammunition and explosions and all of that with this weapon now we move on to the tier 10 weapons i haven't used the tier 10 weapons but they are not resources friendly so you have negan's lucille now i'm just gonna put it in don't use why because you get access to michonne's katana so why would you use a baseball bat when you can use Michonne's edge and basically as I said with the sword compared to everything else it cleaves has more damage it does better crit it is just basically the overall better weapon same thing with the bow you don't need it you just need the crude bow now you have Rick's peacekeeper I'm gonna put it in A tier it is upgraded desert eagle you get the extra damage but you're still not going to be using it because the assault rifle is the single target weapon the only thing you're using it for is the skill to add more vulnerability next up you have Daryl's crossbow and i hate to put it here but it is in a do not use why because you have these two combos going you don't need a Daryl's crossbow for single target they really need to balance or buff both bows and crossbows because right now they are outshined by every other ranged weapon in the game and before the crit change it was viable to do a single target damage instead of using the sword to kill the single target damage but right now they are shit so unless they introduce a like sound mechanic where the guns attract a lot more walkers and then the bows and crossbows are silent so you can bypass walkers but even then you're going to be using the gun to farm walkers so it's just going to make it more efficient to farm so they need to either increase the crit rate of the crossbow and bows back to the original and keep all the weapons how they are now but buff the crit rate or the damage for the bows and crossbows back to what it was in the first couple of weeks but otherwise there's no point using these weapons next up we have sasha's vision and it is s tier you can put in s plus tier the only downside is it costs a lot of resources to craft but is an upgraded version of the hunter rifle next we have shane's boomstick which is also s tier it's upgraded version of the combat shotgun the resources needed to craft is a lot more but you get the extra damage and extra reroll attribute once you don't need the extra damage you can just go back to the combat shotgun save resources and become more efficient finally we have morgan's disciple and i hate to put it here but it is a do not use because you have michonne's edge basically you don't need to craft this you're wasting resources crafting this you might as well craft that and that is my tier list for the best weapons in the walking dead empires now leave a comment of what you think of your favorite weapon if you agree with this tier list if you have certain changes to the tier list 
what your s rank or sss like triple s rank would be i really do wish that they buff the crossbows and bows because right now they are the most unused weapons there's no point using them they're such undervalued weapons and everybody loves daryl and everybody loves the silent archer style so you need to do something about that play style because i leveled i stuck to crossbows even though with the change and i was like it's just even though i want to play with the crossbow it's not worth playing with the crossbow there's so much more efficient uses of my time and better weapons to use currently with how the game is but you need to buff the crossbow man i want to be epic daryl gameplay with the crossbow and currently i can't do that but that was pretty much it for this video hope you learn what the best weapons are what to use what not to use and the crazy bugs that you can encounter with some of the weapons if you haven't already make sure you check out this video where me shadow knight and chaos go over the champions arena ama discussion and we have formed a new podcast to keep up to date with the podcast news dates names and all of that we will be releasing additional info in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that you get the information over on x or twitter so make sure to follow me there or you can join my discord to talk to me when i'm not live or in videos talking to you through the screen and it's the easiest way to contact me outside of live streaming because i have my security set up for all the other discords because we're in web3 and you know there's a bunch of scams going around so if you join my discord and then send me a message it'll be the easiest way to contact me because i have allowed direct messages through my discord not through all the other web3 gaming discords as always if you enjoy the video make sure to smash that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because it's the easiest way to support me and it's completely free and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to check out these videos